A Pinellas County professional guardian is facing charges tonight, accused of stealing more than a half million dollars from an elderly man that she was supposed to be taking care of. ABC Action News I team investigator Adam Walser joins us now with how investigators say this all happened. Adam? Well, Wendy, investigators say Tracy Hudson had a man sign a power of attorney agreement permitting her to manage all his affairs. They say within 10 months, almost all of his money went from his bank account into hers. This is professional guardian Tracy Hudson at the Pinellas County Jail Central Booking, charged with exploiting a 92-year-old man under her care. Investigators say after the man's daughter died, Hudson had him sign a power of attorney agreement, then proceeded to pay herself $541,000 from his bank account. She paid herself over $1,600 a day to be a power of attorney. I don't know what she could have done to earn $1,600 a day. She managed in the space of nine months to drain every dollar out of this man's estate. But investigators say her bank records show where she spent the money, buying tickets to Tampa Bay Bucks games, purchasing clothes and jewelry from department stores, and closing on this new 4,800-square-foot, $600,000 home back in May. She didn't answer the door when we tried to talk to her today. Hudson is president of the Pinellas County Guardianship Association, which is supposed to promote professionalism in the guardianship industry. Earlier this year, we covered another guardianship case involving Hudson, whose last name was Samuel at the time. One of my responsibilities is to make sure I'm spending her money effectively and carefully. At that time, Judge Pam Campbell praised her. I know Ms. Samuel to be a good and professional guardian. I have, she's on a number of the cases that I have. On Friday, that same judge ordered a hearing for next week to determine how to protect the 31 wards Hudson currently has in Pinellas County. What message do you think this will send out? I think this brings to light the corruption that can take place uh, when elderly people are taken care of by people who are not their relatives in particular. I think all of us are growing older and we have to be concerned what's going to happen to us. Hillsborough County Courts are also reviewing Hudson's guardianship cases. We reached out to Hudson's attorney for comment, but he has not yet called us back. I'm my team investigator Adam Walser taking action for you. Adam, thank you. And Adam has spent more than six years now looking into problems with Florida's guardianship system. And after seeing his reports, one Florida lawmaker wants to change the rules to protect your rights. You can see that plan right now on our website, abcactionnews.com slash protection. James